Psilocybin is not the drug, even though you could take it, because as soon as you eat it, this drug, which is really a pro-drug, it's got this 5-HT2A, the big box means more binding, 5-HT2B. Uh, Do you know what is wrong with that and why I think psilocybin will either never be approved, and this may be of um, complete contradiction to the, co the next two speakers, um, and, but uh, actually Roger has written eloquently about that. Do you know what a 5-HT2B agonist does to you? It wrecks your cardiac valve. It's the same action as fenfluramine had. So there's gonna be only a few doses of this, if any, that you're gonna be able to give because it causes cardiac valvulopathies and other kinds of fibrotic tissue changes. So I don't know how many doses of this are gonna be safe to give, but um, some people think one or two is microdosing once or two times. This is not an everyday drug, even if you wanted to. It will not be safe. Anyway, it's not the drug anyway, because as soon as you eat it, it dephosphorylates and turns into psilocin. And psilocin is similar, but you can see it's got more serotonin properties and even more 5-HT2B agonist actions, which are basically dangerous. So if you have patients who think they can take this drug every day and do so because they got some sort of access to it, you wanna, might want to <clears throat> get a cardiac echo along the way once in a while because uh, you can get pulmonary hypertension and uh, valvulopathy from it. So we want a drug that doesn't have 5-HT2B action, and the ones that are out there from mushrooms have this unwanted action. <laughs>